Okay, for our next scenario, we have our own ship course 200 degrees through, speed of 20 knots, with a target observation at 0802 hours, with a bearing of 267 degrees through, range 5 nautical miles, and at 0808 hours, the bearings already at 258 degrees through, and with a range of 2.8 nautical miles. First, we need to plot our own ship. Course is 200. So, find the center, then find 200. So, make a very light line. So, that is 200. Then, measure 20 knots. So, for 20 knots, so to compute how much is 20 knots in 6 minutes, so, so remember in 1 hour we have 60 minutes, so therefore 6 minutes divided by 60, it will give you a 0 0.1 hour. So the 20 knots in 0 0.1 hour is 2 knots. So 20 multiplied by 0 0.1, it will give you 2 knots. So the measurement of 20 knots in radar plotting will be 2 nautical miles. You may use a, an 8 mile range rather than 12 mile range. But if you're going to use this 8 mile range scale, you need to finish it using this 8 mile range until you get the required answer so measure so that is 2 nautical miles this is your point E and this is your point R next is to plot the targets information we have bearing 267 and range 5 nautical miles. So find where is 267. 267. This is 567. Can okay, you see it? 267. Okay. Make a very light line with the range of 5 nautical miles again I am using 8 mile range scale so from the beginning up to end we will going to use 8 mile range so this is the point R okay Next is the next observation at 0808 hours with a bearing of 258 degrees through range 2.8 nautical miles. First, find where is 258. 258 is here. Then find the center. Then make a very light line. Then measure 2.8 in the scale. So that will be our point M. Now connect that to that RM, it will give you relative motion line. Okay? So this will be your relative motion line. Connect point R and M, it will give you a relative motion line. 
Okay? So your ship is going that way. And the ship's relative motion is crossing from your starboard. Now to get the relative direction, we need to run the RML using another triangle. Run the RML to the center. You don't need to make a line here, just make a mark in order for you to read how much is the relative direction. From this, this is 90, 95, 6, 7, 8. It's 98098. So our relative direction is 098. Okay. Again, this relative uh, motion line, you need it to run to the center and then you need to measure it. It is going that way, therefore, you need to make a mark only on this scale, not make a line because it will going to you're going to make so many lines on it and you will be mistaking it from the other courses. Now, next is to get the relative speed. Remember, relative speed if you're going to read on the lower left corner, relative speed of the target stands for RM. So RM, you can also measure it like this. RM, using 8 mile range, don't forget, and make a line. Let's zoom it. Just make a line there. This one is 2, 2.1, 2.2. So 2.2, based on our computation, 6 minutes interval. 2 is 20, so 2.2 .2 is 22 knots automatically for 6 minutes interval. To get through course, you need to connect your ER this ER in here so you need to connect the own ships R to the targets R in order to do that we need a triangle measure it to zero zero then run it so this line this line you need to run it to the targets are again to demonstrate this own ships ER you need to run it to the targets point R then make a very light line then measure 2 nautical miles don't forget that you are using 8 mile range if you're going to use 12 mile range your answer will be automatically wrong so this is 2 miles so this will be your E okay so all ships vector transfer to targets point R now to get the true course again true course and speed of the other target is stands for point E M. Now you already have point E connected to M. So that will be your true course and true speed.
Now, to get the true course, this EM should be run into the center. Okay. In order for you to measure, you don't need to make a line or write a line here. Just mark the scale how much is your true course so if you're going to zoom it it is 40 45 46 47 147 is the true course so 147 okay next is true speed to get the true speed Again, it is EM, point EM of the target. And measure it again. Remember, you are using 8 mile range. So this is 2.5, 2.6. If you're going to zoom in, that is 2.6. Okay. So 2.6, if you're going to refer to the nautical mile, 2 nautical mile is 20 knots, therefore 2.6 is 26 knots, or 26 nautical mile per hour. Let's go to the CPA. Now, for the CPA, the RML should be perpendicular to point E. To get that, you need another triangle pointing perpendicular to letter E. So the right angle is here. This is the RML and this is letter E. To get the perpendicular, you need to point a right angle to point E. Then make a line okay so there's the line so that is the cpa you need to measure it using eight mile range again remember that until we finish we are using eight mile range so if you're going to zoom in it is one nautical mile so your cpa is one nautical mile Okay. For the time of CPA, we need to compute, but before that, we need to measure the distance from this point of the CPA until the last observation. Remember, this is 0808, so from that, from 0 0.08 up to the point of CPA, you need to measure the distance. So you need to measure the distance, then measure it again. Remember, you are using 8 mile range. So this is 2.7. So the distance is 2.7. Next is to divide it by speed our relative speed is 22 now so our distance is 2.7 then 2.7 divided by the speed which is 22 knots we're using relative because they are on the same plot so if you're going to measure it you need to use the measurement of rm also which is the relative speed so 2.7 divided by 22 knots equals 0 0.12 
that is 0 0.12 multiplied by 60 is 7.3 minutes okay so 0808 plus 7.3 minutes is 15.3 0 8 15 therefore time of CPA is 0 8 15 hours okay now to get the bearing of the CPA is uh, you only need to get the measurement from E to the point of the CPA then extend it make a mark in order for you to read, this is 18567. Therefore, 187. True. True because it is coming from the center. There you have it.